Welcome to Welcome Home to Cab. I'm Sasha the Diva. 2013, DeKalb County is selling houses. Yes, we are. We're so excited. Now today, I'm in Lithonia, Georgia. This house is so beautiful. Three bedrooms, newly rehabbed. It's yours if you want it. And I have to give the love to the Alliance of DeKalb County Incorporated. They did all the work and we're gonna be talking to them along with their partnership with DeKalb County Community Development. Also, you always need a real estate agent if you're looking for a house. I love Janice because she's so on customer service and you are the customer and you are number one for us. Now listen. Listen, when you buy your house and you've moved in, you're all cozy, one thing you do not want to worry about is, is the neighbor cutting the grass, trash in the street, signs all in the neighborhood. Well, guess what? It's called the Code Compliance Crackdown. We're cracking down to make sure our neighborhoods in DeKalb County stay safe and beautiful. Diamond, tell me what's happening out there. Orange team will actually be on Rock Chapel Road. Doing After they are given their instructions and break off into okay. teams, code compliance officers are ready to begin their mission. Is everybody clear on that? Yes, sir. All right, let's roll. And with that, they're off. The Cab County's code enforcement officers are taken to the street for today's neighborhood sweep, and it's all in an effort to improve the quality of your community. This is the world of code compliance. The hardworking men and women who strive to preserve the quality of life for DeKalb County communities and businesses through consistent and accurate enforcement of the property maintenance code, zoning, sign and noise ordinances. We're on the ground actually talking about the quality of your of, of your property, the standards, what what it is that that will help to ensure that the community itself grows. So, so code enforcement's role and code enforcement's job is to ensure that uh, everyone in the community, everyone in the, in the county is living in an area that they want to stay in. Code compliance has also enhanced the way they carry out their mission, which includes neighborhood sweeps and collecting accurate evidence against violators. But it also includes educating residents and strengthening civic responsibility. We are here we want everyone to know that we're here, and we want also the people who are violators, we want them to know that we're here. So there, there will be a change in code enforcement and the way we deliver this service in the county. And residents like Eileen McMullen are hoping to see that change. She and her 102-year-old mother have lived in their neighborhood for more than 60 years. And throughout that time, they have undoubtedly seen many changes, but this is one site they were happy to see. I am really, really glad to see them out here and hopefully my mama will see a change before she passes. She takes uh, a lot of pride in her home and in her community, so hopefully uh, they will make a change. Now, if you see a possible code violation in your community, you can file a complaint online by visiting www.decapcountyga.gov slash planning, or you can shoot an email to DeKalb County's Code Compliance Office at codeenforce at decapcountyga.gov, or of course, you can give them a phone call at 404-687-3700. Reporting from Lithonia, I'm Diamond Lewis. Diamond, I love it because all of us want to live in a beautiful and safe community. So you can pick up the phone and call or you can go online. When we return. She's been through tremendous hardships, but thanks to a new program in DeKalb County, our newest resident has a happy story to tell. That's coming up next on Welcome Home DeKalb. Thanks, Aviva. And guys, it's Sasha the Diva. Don't forget, you can hit me on Facebook, Sasha the Diva on the mic, and tweet me at the Diva Sasha. And I have to tell you something. Thank you for all the love. Over 200,000 following me on Twitter. I really appreciate you. And you know I'm going to tweet out this house today. We'll be back with more on Welcome Home to Canada. Hey guys, 
is Sasha the Diva. Welcome home to Cab. I've missed you, babies. Well, I'm back. We're in Lithonia. Three bedroom, absolutely beautiful home for you. So, I need you to get the pad, I need you to get the pen, get your laptop, start Googling some information because this house could be for you. And let me just tell you this also, thank you so much, thank you so much for watching the show. We've sold all the houses. We had to get more houses to renovate because we want you to live in DeKalb County. I have my friend here today, real estate agent Janice. Hello, darling. Hello, Sasha. How are you? Oh, great, how are you? Good to see you. It's nice to see you too. Tell everybody the name of your real estate agency. Brinkley Realty Group, Indicator, oh. off of Wesley Chapel. Okay, and you've been in business for about how long? Four years. Okay, and it's you, and who's the other person? Oh, you know my partner, better half, Percy Brinkley, broker. That means that's her husband, okay? <laughs> <laughs> and you've been selling houses. Yes, I have. Even in this economy, tell me your secret. We have truly been blessed, and I think word of mouth has certainly been the blessing for us and actually just favor. I, I have to tell this, one thing about her agency, she's really about customer service. So if you make that phone call, you leave a message, you send an email, they're going to respond to you immediately. Yes. And unfortunately, in this new world, we are not on customer service, so I appreciate that, all right? Oh, thank you. Sell me this house. Okay. <laughs> tell me about this beautiful three bedroom house in Lithonia. Absolutely gorgeous. It's a living room with a nice bubble glass chandelier. Yeah, I like it. I like it. So this could be my living room, dining room, office. Yes, it sure can. This kitchen is beautiful. I was looking at the hard wood. What type of wood is cherry. that? Cherry. It's a nice cherry with the nickel trim knobs. Let's talk with about the appliances. appliances. Okay. It comes with microwave, as you can see. Uh, completely appliances with the dishwasher as well. The and kitchen the is large enough to do whatever you need to do. And the space over top of the cabinets, that's nice for decor. Yes, it is. Track lighting. I like. Which is very good because you can direct your lighting. And, and then the seating area, this would yes. seat approximately how many? Six people. That's pretty good. Six people comfortably. Now, Janice, you know what I was noticing? Because I thought this was such a great area. Wouldn't this be nice if you could extend this out to a bar? Oh yes, you could easily get a slab of granite and put up here and seat at least six people. Three bedrooms. Oh, three four to six people comfortable. Bedrooms. Now how's this how much is this house going for? Going for $89.9. Did you hear that? A steal. A steal. Yes. Do you have a real estate agent? If not, call my for real estate. Ah, but guess what? It's cold. I know we're springtime, but we can still put the fireplace on. It's really your option. Look at the fireplace. Look yes. at this beautiful yes. fireplace. Yes. I'm ready to get Very all cozy. Nice. Sunken yeah. family room. Now, wait a minute. Remember back in the day they had sunken family rooms? Oh, yes. Okay, for those who don't know what that means, can you tell us what a sunken family room means? A couple of steps down from the normal level of the home. And it gives you a, a different kind of feeling. Yeah. And with the fireplace, it's pretty cozy. I can see it, Janice. Yes. I can see the beautiful flat screen television or a painting right here. Okay. It's enough room for an entertainment center. Right here, we have the couch and everything else that we need inside. I love it. Now, what I just noticed how we could go outside to our patio right from the family room. Yes, and very private. Tell me why it's, it's no so homes, private. No homes. It's a buffer of trees behind the home. So a buffer of trees mean they will never build a house behind they me. They will never, no. So see, you can nice. barbecue. It's very nice. If you want to tan and put the bikini on, nobody will see you, okay? That's right. That's right. <laughs> now we also have a two-car garage and mm -hmm. three bedrooms. We're going upstairs to check out the bedrooms. Janice, I could not wait to get to the master bedroom because See, when I have a long day at work, school, kids, whatever you have going on, and it's time to relax, yes. it's the bedroom. This is the haven. Yes. This is the haven. Nice size bedroom where you can get a king size bed, two nightstands, and still have plenty of space in here and be comfortable. You know what they always say about a bedroom? They always say that you should not have a television. Keep the television out so you can rest. Yes. <laughs> have a quiet Absolutely. Time. Yes. Now this ceiling fan is beautiful, but you know what I think about a ceiling fan? Helping me keep cool. 
energy efficiency. Ah, it's going to save me energy. It's definitely going to save you energy on coolness as well as heat. Garden tub, very nice. Single vanity, separate shower. And that's what I like, the separate yes, shower. Separate I shower. have the bathtub mm -hmm. and it is very spacious. Please tell me that this closet can hold some shoes and clothes. Oh, you've got to see it. Look at all the space where you Let can me hold. see, let me see. I know you can hold a hundred yes! pairs of shoes in there. A hundred Easily. pair Easily. of shoes. Easily. That means that we can get everything in this closet and that's what it's all about in this master bedroom. Now, I understand that's three bedrooms. We have another bedroom right here with a nice size closet. Then we have a third bedroom. So if company comes over, or if I have a niece or nephew you want to spend the night, we still have a nice bedroom right here. Nice size, spacious as well. It's kind of cozy. And look at the closet. Nice walk-in closet. Another well. one? Another nice walk-in Child, I'm going to have closets everywhere. Now, I was missing something, because I need to wash clothes. That's right. Nice so, Where's the laundry room? Y'all, look at the laundry room. Now, so tell me about laundry upstairs because now, what, I don't have to walk up, up and down the steps. Upstairs, taking loads of clothes, you can just come right to your washer and dryer on the same level as the bedroom. See, that's that is what it's all about. I'm yes. so excited about this house. It's for sale. It's for you. Claim it. Take it. We'll be right back with more. Welcome home to Cam. Sasha the Diva, welcome back to Welcome Home to Cab. Love the show. We love you. Thank you so much for watching us. Kirk Walker is the executive director of the Alliance of DeKalb County Incorporated. He's with me today. Hey, Kirk. Hello. How are you? Okay. So from what I understand, every Monday at six o'clock, you're watching Welcome Home to Cab. That is correct. High five. All right, all right, all right. Tell me why you watch the show. It's a great show. It provides a lot of information uh, to prospective home buyers, and we are trying to get them back into Cab County. And we are doing it, and we appreciate the love and support. I'm going to take them out later, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about the Alliance of DeKalb County Incorporated. What do, what do you do? Okay, first of all, we are a 501c3 organization. Uh, we were designed to and organized to provide affordable housing solutions in the communities in the Cab County. Okay. We work with a variety of programs um, and it's really based on the needs of those communities. Uh, some of the programs that we're working with are first time home buyer programs. We're working with the Cab County to acquire, rehab and sell foreclosed and abandoned properties. Uh, we're trying to develop a program to work with owners to do owner occupied rehabilitation up to a certain amount of money. Um, all of these programs obviously have criteria, but we understand the criteria. We try to make it work for them. Can you take me into your world a little bit more? I heard you say that you're going into the communities. You actually meet with the community. Tell me a little bit about that. Well, what we try to do, Sasha, is we try to provide a solution to the communities. We don't try to come in and tell the communities what they need. Mm -hmm. We try to come in and meet with them so they can tell us what their problems are. Okay. And then through our partnerships, hence the alliance, we try to bring professionals to come in to help them um, create solutions for those problems. Our role is really through housing, but we have other partners that do um, economic development. We've got partners that bring educational pieces to the table. We've done health and, and welfare types of uh, seminars in certain areas. Okay. So we bring the partnerships um, that we have made to the communities to help them really strengthen themselves. So you're very hands-on. Absolutely. Absolutely. I love that. I love Absolutely. that. Now, I understand that you have a partnership with DeKalb Community Development with Chris. What Chris is this Morris, yes. partnership that you have and how is this helping you? And I heard it's really great. It is. And it was really a blessing for us um, as an organization. We apply for funding through DeKalb County mm -hmm. and we uh, we were awarded a grant for three hundred thousand dollars. Congratulations. Do, well, thank you. Thank <laughs> you. And, and we're very pleased to, to have that award. Yes. Um, to do the acquisition of rehabilitation. Um, Chris Morris and her staff have done just a tremendous job in DeKalb County in trying to really soldier the effort to improve communities and we're just pleased to be a part of that effort. Now this was your first home. This is our first home. The first house. How did you find this house? We have a strong partnership with Brinkley Realty. Uh, we met them through the Georgia Sustainable Community Alliance. And what we've been able to do is to, again, provide partners, uh, create partnerships with individuals that do 
their specified talents in the same manner that we do it. Absolutely. Uh, it, it really takes a team effort to make this happen, but in partnering with Brinkley Realty, we, we, we created the type of system where they will actually look for homes that meet our criteria, mm -hmm. uh, that the homes must be foreclosed and abandoned, otherwise okay. we can't do it. Um, so they go out and they look at them, they identify with those home, where those homes are, uh, then we actually meet and visit the property. In this instance, this was a property that we actually liked when we first saw it. What was it about this house? The structure of it was, was a, a, the structure was fine. I okay. mean, it, it was really just a well put house. It was, I think this house was built 10, 12 years ago. Mm -hmm. So okay. it has some unique features to it that you've already seen. Yes, yes. Um, B, we felt that the rehabilitation that we could do was affordable to us. Mm -hmm thus making the house affordable to the end user. Yes. And see, we really thought we could do some creative things with the rehabilitation to uh, give it a, a nice appeal. You give it a did. Nice look. Well, thank you, you did. You did with the you. fixtures, the beautiful hardwood floors. Yes. I love the sink. Because that was back in the day when they called the sunken and sunken, um, sunken, family yes, room. Remember yes, back in the day? Yes, yes. I, I love that. So the house is absolutely beautiful. Yeah. So this is the first one. This is the first and one. And we're going to move on purchasing more? How many more do you think you're going to purchase that's going to be available for sale? We're going to purchase as many as we can. Yes. It's, it's a slow process, okay. uh, but we're here for the long run. Okay. We do have a house uh, in the Ellenwood area under contract. Great. We hope to close in the next 30 days. We have several others that we have placed bids on. It's, it's really competitive right now, but we are we're fighting the game and we want to make sure that we stay relevant we continue to help home buyers, and we continue to do what we say. We're do. Well, this is how you're going to help us right now, because right. if you don't know, we sell houses quick, okay? We need that. And I know you watching going, please just tell me, how do I become eligible? They're sitting there with paper and pen. <laughs> what do I need to do to become eligible to purchase? Well, there are, there are several things. The first thing for a home buyer to do is to find a, a, a realtor. Okay. That understands first time home buyer program. And if you don't have one, we have one for you. We certainly do. Brinkley Realty. Okay. <laughs> um, and you can look them up. But to find a, a, home, a realtor that understands the first time home buyer program, mm -hmm. so actually, that's, that's big. You want to um, go through the process of getting yourself qualified. Please listen to what he is saying. Don't go looking for a house without getting qualified financially first. Yes, that's important. Yeah. And, and that really is important. And we stress that to our buyers because, you know, these houses that we buy have been foreclosed. We don't want to see them on a foreclosed list any yeah, longer. So we want, right. we want them to be educated on what it yeah. takes to be a, a good homeowner. Now, how do we get in contact with you? What's your website address? We need to blow up your phones. <laughs> <laughs> well, we appreciate it. Our website is www.adchomes.org. 770-490-4552. Thank you so much. Great information. Because like I always say, information is power. You can always hit them on their website. You can call them. See, I'm old school. I want to call and get the information and talk to a person. And don't forget, it's your dream. It's your American dream. So get your new home in DeKalb County. When we come back. Pretty nice, isn't it? Well, one woman thought it was out of her reach. Not so. Coming up on Welcome Home to Cab, we'll have her story and we'll explain how a program in DeKalb County is helping many others realize their dreams too. That and much more on Welcome Home to Cab right here on DCTV Channel 23. Welcome back to Welcome Home to Cab. I'm Sasha the Diva in Lithonia, Georgia. Yes. You know you want to live in Lithonia, Georgia. We have so many houses that are being rehab, and all you have to do is say, I want this house. You can always check out our website, or you can give us a call, and we will make sure we take care of you. But let me tell you what I love. I love stories with a great ending, and we have a brand new homeowner. Aviva Hoffman is talking to Sharon Cabby. Let me hear this beautiful story. Oh, we got our home. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> Following tragedy, a ray of sunshine. Sharon Cabby is excited about the latest chapter in her life, a place of her own to call home. <laughs> Sharon's traveled a long, hard road to get here. 
Her life changed forever in 2007 when her four-year-old twin daughter perished in a car accident. And just four days later, more unthinkable heartbreak. Sharon's husband also died in an accident on the way to their daughter's funeral. Soon after, Sharon made the decision to move back home to DeKalb County to be near her parents. For the next several years, Sharon experienced more hardships, but she never gave up on her quest to realize the American dream. Her future shined brighter when in 2012, she qualified for DeKalb County's Neighborhood Stabilization Program. Through the program, Sharon was able to purchase this new home in Piedmont Point. I'm overjoyed right now. This is something I have been waiting for for the past six, seven years. So, you know, it's just a great opportunity for me to be able to become a homeowner and have a stable environment for my children. Out of all the homes we looked at, this is the best. The best. <laughs> <laughs> Home ownership is a big thing for anybody, but especially in this case, she's most deserving. I think that the uh, company APD Solutions has done a great job with our real estate stabilization programs in DeKalb County, and this today is a testament to the work that they're doing to help us with foreclosed homes in DeKalb County, stabilize our community that contribute to the property tax digest, which is such a crucial uh, measure for us providing service in DeKalb County. So excited that DeKalb County, where I grew up and where my family has grown up, uh, and where I graduated from high school, Towers. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the, the county, the county that I love, um, is is doing some tremendous things. The county, together with its partners, also helped Sharon with a significant contribution toward a down payment on her home, twenty-five thousand dollars. The key to a development like this is it's not only about the transaction. When you look at the work of different professionals, they're focused on the closing, they're focused on the documents, but they're not focused on people. And what we try to do with our work is to remember at the end of all of those transactions are really lives of people that we're trying to impact positively. The partnership between DeKalb County, APD Solutions, and the federal government is helping create unique opportunities aimed at stabilizing our communities, especially ones that have been at risk due to our county's foreclosure crisis. So literally, DeKalb County has received millions of dollars uh, in order to acquire homes, uh, rehabilitate them, restore them, and put people back into the homes at an affordable level. DeKalb CEO Burl Ellis is quite pleased with the success of the One DeKalb Lives initiative started in November 2011. It's truly a comprehensive approach involving several major housing initiatives like the NSP and others, each program designed to combat the housing foreclosure problems devastating so many families, neighborhoods, and communities across the nation. Home ownership is special. Uh, it is the American dream. And for the last few years, uh, we know that too many of our citizens have been frustrated because they've even either found it difficult to purchase a home or in many, too many tragic situations, they lost the homes that they had. But we're reversing that trend now. There's no doubt these efforts are helping improve home values and increase home ownership for many deserving residents. And there are people at home today who are gonna hear this story through the media, through you going back and telling the story to a friend that will be inspired to step forward and will know that home ownership can be for them. For more information about purchasing a home in Piedmont Point or other APD Solutions projects, call 404-921-3131. And you can be sure more success stories are on the horizon. APD Solutions plans to continue its partnership with DeKalb County government to build many more new homes. Reporting from Piedmont Point in Lithonia, Aviva Hoffman, welcome home DeKalb. Sasha, back to you. Aviva, thanks for that beautiful story. Sharon, thank you for sharing with us. You have this beautiful dream, your home, the American dream in DeKalb County, and we are so glad we were able to help you. Would you like to have a new home in DeKalb County? Mm -hmm. I know you do. You can always go to our website. You can always call us because we have houses available to you. In APD Solutions, brand new construction. Six homes in Piedmont Point. Yes, you can call Mary. Mary will help you through it and take you through the whole process. 
I will see you next time on Welcome Home to Cab because next time we're going to have more houses to showcase. And we so appreciate that you watch us all the time. Don't forget to hit me on Facebook, Sasha the Diva on the mic, or tweet me at the Diva Sasha. I will see you next time.